Every move we make, every emotion, every decision stems from here. For so many people, these thoughts, ideas, and feelings can be overwhelming, life-altering even. In this population, we find those who are diagnosed with conditions like PTSD, anxiety, ADHD, and depression. To understand why some of us experience these disorders and what can be done to help, we must look deep into the brain's communication networks for the answers. The brain is made up of about 150 billion neurons. And in the 1990s at the National Institutes of Health where I worked, we discovered that it's those 150 billion neurons are really organized in clusters. Those are called hubs groups of neurons that then talk to each other in milliseconds of time. They have slightly different functions, but they share a lot of communication. And that's the dynamic that goes on. An inefficient brain, which is unable to get enough neurons at a given moment of time, then can give rise to anxiety, uh, tensions, attention problems, uh, PTSD, uh, movement disorders, and things like that. There are scores of people in this patient population who either don't respond to or would rather avoid pharmaceuticals. But there is something that can help, and it doesn't require medication or invasive measures. Neuroimaging and biofeedback technology has long been studied, validated, and applied with great success. Biofeedback, or EEG biofeedback, is this amazing, incredible technology where we can actually show the client a window into their brain. And the way that we do this is we put a cap with 19 sensors on their head, and it detects the brain functioning. That cap is going to give us the information to compare it to a normative database done with a multi-million dollar grant with the National Institute of Health to know what, what people use their brain like that don't have symptoms. So as though you're kind of checking in and calibrating, the moment you start to use your brain in a higher level way, we give you a signal instantaneously, just like that. What is that signal? It's a brighter screen, so it's more color saturated, or it's a louder sound of the music. So you can get rewards, you know, four times a second or twice a second. And through that, you're learning how to improve that area of the brain and actually overcome these difficulties and, and not suffer anymore, to you know, function in a way that's effortless to live the life that you want to live. The technology has improved to such an extent we can now measure the hubs in real time. You know, 20 years ago, we, we couldn't do that. We can target specific hubs like the amygdala, the, hippocampus, the left frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, so wherever the things are not working right, and reinforce greater stability and efficiency in those hubs. And this also can be done with athletes, so it's peak performance. It's not just clinical cases. The technology has evolved to make biofeedback mobile, affordable, and more accessible. Known as Neuralink, biofeedback tools are enhanced through the use of computers and smartphones by linking the patient's mental health challenges to clinicians either in office or remotely. And you can reach more people with less expense, and so that is where it can be scaled efficiently worldwide. It's unique because it is non-invasive, it's not expensive, and it's been around a long time. There's over 2,000 peer-reviewed journal articles that are cited at the National Library of Medicine, and so it has substantial science. NeuroGuide's groundbreaking technology provides superior information within seconds, helping physicians and patients alike better understand the beautiful and incredibly complex human brain in a way that's never been done before. And when I see kids or adults overcome these things, it's like my mind is blown. We literally every week review people's improvements and like the people that gave up on themselves are suddenly thriving again and through, you know, biofeedback you can actually do that. So it's super powerful, it's super worth it. The mission is to help people and to apply modern technology. I've been involved for many years in developing the modern technology, so it's a real pleasure to me personally to be able to put that technology together and deliver it efficiently and inexpensively and new discoveries we bring to bear whenever we can so we can continue to advance as we go into the future.
The future of neuroscience is here and available to all. Learn more today at AppliedNeuroscience.com.